I am Zarina Sidesheva, lecturer of IT and digital resources in teaching foreign languages. Welcome to the lecture number seven, the ways of using Kahoot and Quizlet programs. Outline for today's lecture. Ways to use the Kahoot resource. And the second question, Quizlet is the simplest way to learn and memorize the material covered. Kahoot is a game-based learning platform used as educational technology in schools and other educational institutions. Its learning games, Kahoot's, are user-generated multiple-choice quizzes that can be accessed via a web browser or the Kahoot app. Kahoot can be used to review students' knowledge for formative assessment or as a break from traditional classroom activities. Kahoot also includes trivia quizzes. Kahoot was founded in 2012 by John Brand, Jamie Brooker and Morten Verswick in a joint project with the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. They teamed up with Professor Alf Inge Wang and were later joined by Norwegian entrepreneur Asmund Erus Furusov. Kahoot was launched in a private beta in March 2013 and the beta was released to the public in September 2013. Pros and cons of the Kahoot game. Pros. It is a shared experience. Everyone responds at the same time. That, allow, that also means we can provide feedback to everyone at the same time. There are millions of publicly created Kahoot games you can use. Students are likely very familiar with it, meaning it can be plugged into a lesson with little time to learn a new app. Cons. The speed of a traditional Kahoot game can make some students feel like they are left in the dust. It's easy for students to see each other's responses and copy. Just look at all of the screens the students in the foreground of the photo can see from his desk. Here you can see the screenshot of the uh, site kahoot.com. Here you can sign up for the registration. So here you can click to create a new Kahoot game. On this slide you can see how to click to create a quiz. After that, you need to enter title here and enter description here. For example, you can choose an IT discipline and enter description to this test. Further on, you need to select your audience for school, university, business, training, event or even social. After all the settings, you need to click plus button to add a question. So enter question here, then at least two answers are required. After that, click here next to go to the next slide. When you have completed all the tests and all the questions, click the button Save. Hello everyone! Today I'm going to present you a video tutorial how to use Kahoot and how I do it. Hope you will enjoy and understand it. Let's start! Firstly, you need to open the browser, so go to your favorite searcher, minus Google, and write Kahoot in the search line. 
As you can see, this site is on the top of the search. The first result. Just follow this link. Now we see the home page of this site. Don't slow down and sign up. It's free. Then Kahoot offers you to choose the purpose of using this app. You can use it as a teacher or as a student or use it at work or socially. Ok, I am a teacher, that's why I will click on this button. Next we need to choose one of the sign options. For me it will be sign up with Google. We have already logged in and we are on the page of creating Kahoot. As we can see, we are offered to create Kahoot. Let's click here. There is a new page before us. We see different versions of tests. The tests with a special mark in the corner are not free. Today we will need the simplest one. Let's choose this option. Now we are on page of editing our test. We have a button Enter Kahoot title at the top of this page. Click there. Again, there is a new page. Here we can type the title of our quiz. Let's call it New Quiz. Then we can add a description. It's optional, just some information about our test. Then we can choose the language, for example, English or Russian. And in the end, choose Visibility mode. Done! Leftwards, we have the number of questions in our test. Here we can add a question or use question bank. Let's go to this bank and find already made tests. We can use them during our classes, but today we will make our own test. That is why let's leave this page. On editing panel, we have our first question. Let it be what is Kahoot? Below it we have a place where we can add an image or a video from YouTube. To the left we can choose the amount of time the students will have for answering each question. Let's choose 20 seconds. And then we choose the amount of points that a student can get for each correct answer. Below this panel we can add four answers. We need to add at least two variants, the others are optional. Let's write our answers. You should put a stick on the one that is correct. It turned green. Good job! Now we press Done. And now we are going to My Kahoot's page. Here we can see our quiz that we've just made. Let's click the button Play. Here we go! This is a pre-start page with some settings for our new quiz. The game has two modes. Classic mode and team mode. Here are some settings below. The most interesting one is probably that we can choose lobby music. It's funny. Let's choose classic mode. Nice! We already have a PIN code, which students need to enter on their personal devices. Let's go on kahoot.it. This is a website created specially for students. Paste this code. Enter your nickname Well, we've done it! We need to return to Teacher's page. We can see a new player in our quiz. We can kick him, but don't do this. Click Start. Students have a few seconds to concentrate. We have a chance to seek a hood from two sides. 
the way the teacher sees it, and the way the students do. Students see the teacher's page on the main screen, and the students' page with shapes on their personal devices. They need to choose the shape that stands for the right answer. We choose a triangle. That's correct! Later, we can get some feedback. Click the button View Report. Here you can upload the statistics of the mistakes that the students made and then discuss it all together. Our students can rate this Kahoot in the end. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching! Quizlet is an American online study application that allows students to study science via learning tools and games. It was created by Andrew Sutherland in October 2005 and released to the public in January 2007. Quizlet trains students via flashcards and various games and tests. As of February 6, 2019, Quizlet has over 300 million user-generated flashcard sets and more than 50 million active users. It now ranks among the top 50 websites in the US. In 2016, Quizlet was recognized by SimilarWeb as the fastest growing US education site in 2015. Quizlet, wa Quizlet was convinced by Andrew Sutherland while he was studying for his French class. To aid in memorizing words, he began writing a program to help him study. These first lines of code were deleted and then rewritten over a course of 420 days. In October 2005, Quizlet was released to the public. Pros and cons of this program Pros – teamwork and communication. With traditional flashcards, students may study them in isolation quietly. This brings students together in a game where they must depend on each other. Play games with Quizlet flashcard sets. Quizlet Leap runs from Quizlet flashcard sets. That means you don't have to create anything new if you use Quizlet and already have flashcards or if you can find a Quizlet flashcard set you like. A new game every time. Each new Quizlet Leap game is different. When a game pulls a dozen cards from a Quizlet flashcard set, there are tons of combinations, especially when there are lots of flashcards. Start a new game and Quizlet mixes up the cards for a new combination. Cons You need at least six students to play a game, at least two teams of three students and at least six cards in a flashcard set. If you are looking for something more individual to play as a group, Quizlet Leave may not be your game. So here is a screenshot of the quizlet.com. Sign up for the free account. Go to quizlet.com, click on sign up, fill out the form and this is done. Next step, you need to give the title of your flashcard set, class, subject, then to choose languages and terms and definitions. Complete control of your, your set. You need to choose who can see your set, can they discuss, or who can edit your set. Set up your class as a group. Everything your students need in one place.
Hi there, this is Nelly Deutsch and I'm on Quizlet, one of my favorite tools. I use it regularly with my students. The way I use it is they do the work. In other words, they create study sets based on the work that we do in the class or if it's online that we do virtually. I also do the live in the classroom when there is a classroom, a physical classroom, as well as fully online with Quizlet Live. So now you can get a free account. I pay for a premium because I really like uh, Quizlet. It's not that much. But for those of you right now who would like to use it, you get a free access to Quizlet Teacher. Try it out and use it, including live until the end of June. And um, I have a feeling they're going to extend it because we're not really going back that soon in most places. You don't need a credit card. Now, this is really important. If you get a prompt to ask for your credit card details, do not fill it in. You do not have to. So um, if you have a subscription like me, you don't get another one, of course. So uh, let me show you what you can do on Quizlet, this amazing initiative by a learner who wanted to learn French. And this is, in fact, what he did. did. So I have a lot of classes here. Notice what I have on the left here as a teacher. I have a study planner, my premium content, my settings that I can set up, but that's not really relevant right now. I have sets. Now, all these sets well, most, I think I have about two sets that I created myself. No need for teachers to do it. Let your students do the work. They learn so much more when they are doing it and not when the teacher is doing it. So let them learn. Let them do the study sets. So you can also have um, folders and organize things by folders or by classes. Notice I've got a few folders here. Classes, I've got eight classes all together. So let me take you to my adult classes called Live Virtual Engagement. So I have this course, online course on Moodle for Teachers, where uh, teachers are able to learn for free and learners are also, anyone's able to learn. Everything on Moodle for Teachers is completely free uh, for your information. This is an eight-week course. It started on April 1st. It's been going on for just about two months now because we're, in um, May right now, 17th of May. You can join, it's not too late, but it's not going to be uh, team-based, but it's going to be self-based, so you work at your own pace. There's energy and a lot of peer learning and other things involved when you work on a team. So these are the members, you can see members. Now, how do you get people to join? There are two ways, one is to get Create the class, of course, first of all, and then you simply get a link and you share it with your students and they just join. Or they can ask to join and then you just accept them, but I prefer for them to actually uh, join. I just give them the link. Notice uh, these are some of the study sets that students created. Well, they're actually adults. They're teachers themselves. And... Um, it's part of um, their presentation. So based on the presentation they give, they create a uh, Quizlet, and then they give the Quizlet live in a live online class, such as Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Congrea, and so on, was IQ. So that's, uh, that's part of the course. And hopefully it's going to be really exciting for them. Okay, so this is a little bit about the course and what we're doing. You can see the various tools that participants um, not just learn about, but actually create classes, give classes to their peers. What else can you do as a teacher? Well, plus here, there's, um, you can see here, it's uh, joining. You can use this on your phone. There's an app and there's that. So let's see the Dots usually mean settings, so let's go there. You can drop a class if you're in the class or if you want to get rid of it, delete it, remove all members, notifications, you can set that up. You can connect this with Google Classroom, which is amazing. Uh, add members, plus you just add members, their emails, and you send the invites. Or, of course, you can share the automatic link. 
plus. The plus is always for sets. So you can create a set. This is how students do it. Notice um, these are the sets, I guess, that I created. So I created more than two. Or these are all the sets that I have. I guess these are all the sets and the titles under the sets. So uh, my sets. Okay, so they share it with me. Now, what happens when a student creates a set? They share it with the classroom. So after you create a set, let me go into one set so you'll see what it's like. So this is the per this person's name. Notice what's here on the right, remove. I'm not going to remove it, but I'm going to go into it. Okay, so there it is. So notice what the options are. Uh, there are flashcards. Students can practice. They can learn. They can write things down, learn to spell. And then there's a test. The best part that I get students to learn through is the match. This is a matching game that they do in class to see how fast they go. So you need to really go fast. You can also hear okay, keyboard shortcuts. Um, so let's go back to you start the game, you click on it, and then uh, it's time. See the time's going and you need to uh, put things together. Okay, so very happy under the weather. Okay, these are expressions, really nice. Like it, love it, in fact. Okay, Caduce, whoever created that. Next is Gravity. Uh, this is a game, it's cute. Get started, you can see what it looks like. It's all very, very fun and game's easy. Let's make it easy. There are also grading options for the teacher. Let's go start game. And then notice what happens. You type your answer as soon as it comes down. Cost an arm and a leg. Hmm, I don't know. Oh. Okay, so that's what happens when you don't know. Press escape to skip. All right, you get a chance to skip. Okay, you can also create. Notice there's another one, another expression you have to think of. Be in your shoes. Very expensive. Correct answer. Okay, you get the prompt connect answer. I notice there's also create right here if you want to create. Okay, the plus is there. So let's go back. Notice the bag here. I can restart that. You notice that, right? And there is the live. Now, this is absolutely amazing. As I said, face to face, they love it because they work in teams. So there are two. One is team based, just like on Kahoot, and one is individual. So online, you might want to do individual, not team. It's kind of hard, but it's possible. Even online, it's possible. You can do it in the breakout rooms, but that's a bit complicated. Right. And of course, there's the uh, app for uh, Apple and for the Android. Okay, if you want to see what it looks like, let's try the uh, select the individual. Even the individual, you've got to study hard. You've got um, expressions. You can select this or hit. You can also translate, by the way, there's a translation. And then there's music. I love the music. I don't know, I'm addicted to it. And then this is what the students get. They get the join. Notice the join is at quizlet.live. That's where you give them. You can put this in your live class or in your classroom. Okay, so there's the code, and it's waiting for at least two, because it's individual. Copy the game link, and there's also a code that they can scan. That's it. Uh, let's go back. You've got options here. Music, you can turn it off. So there, I turn it off, but I, as I said, I really like the music, so I turn it on. In the classroom, if you've got a board projector, that really makes it easy. Looks exactly the same. And that's it. Aha! Yes, before I go, notice this icon there. It's really important. This is when you share. And you're going to share the work in your classes, so whatever class you have. And you're also going to share it outside the classroom. So the settings are here, and the share button is there. So I have an option of uh, who I'm going to share it. So notice what my options are. I can share it in the Google Classroom, Google Remind, copy the link and share it that way. Share it anywhere if it's public. Next, I'm going to open this up and notice what's here. Really, really important because this is your student's progress. The students. So these are the scores. So you can see the scores, student scores, of course. You can print, you can combine, you can export, embed, and report if something's wrong. So if you go into scores, um, you'll be able to see see um, how long it took each one to do it. 
to how many seconds for the match and the other activities, which is really great for teachers because students could work on their own and you can get the information. They can work at home. They don't or in the classroom. They don't have to be physically with you. You can also view the class progress. So for looking at this, let's view the progress. Okay, so this is my class and I can see how they're doing. Okay, right now they have, oh, okay, there's someone. Well, that's me, I think. You'll see how they're doing. And that's it. So hope this has been of help and you join Quizlet and use it with your students because they're going to love it. Please subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get information about the latest videos that come up and spread the word. Thank you. Let's sum up. Kahoot is a game-based learning platform used to review students' knowledge for formative assessment or as a break from traditional classroom activities. It is among the most popular game-based learning platforms with 70 million monthly active Unix users. The main conclusion is that Kahoot can have a positive effect on learning performance, classroom dynamics, students' and teachers' attitudes, and students' anxiety. However, there are also studies where Kahoot has little or no effect. The main challenges mentioned by students include technical problems such as unreliable internet connections, hard to read questions and answers on a project screen, not being able to change answer after submission, stressful time pressure for giving answers, not enough time to answer, afraid of losing and hard to catch up if an incorrect answer had been given. Quizlet, teamwork and communication with traditional flashcards, students may study them in isolation quietly. This brings students together in a game where they must depend on each other. Play games with Quizlet flashcard sets. This is the list of questions after our lecture. List the types of questions used in the Kahoot resource. How to use the Quizlet platform. Test the text of free men in a boat on the Kahoot resource. Create an IT dictionary on the Quizlet platform and make up a test of 10 questions on the topic with 5 variants. Here is the list of references that you can use after our lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.